how do we find the average rate of change of a function going from A to B? Well, in this video, I'll give you guys two examples. And first, I will actually give you guys the formula. To find the average rate of change going from A to B, we will have to compute f of B minus f of A. And this right here is the net change, right? And then divide it by the interval, which is B minus A. All right, so if you look at what we have right here, the function is x squared minus 8x, and we go from 2 to 8. So this means a is equal to 2, and then b is equal to 8. And then we just have to plug into the formula and then work it out. So have a look. So let's put down a, r, c for the average rate of change. And we first do f of 8 minus f of 2, and then we divide it by 8 minus 2. Wrong column, sorry. In fact, this right here is the slope formula, all right? And uh, I would recommend you guys to compute the f of 8, f of 2, um, somewhere else, and maybe just on a scratch paper or whatsoever, so that way you can keep your work more organized. So I'm going to do that right here. We see that this is our function. To get f of 8, we will just have to plug in 8 into the x here and also the x here. So we get 8 squared minus 8 times 8. This is 64. This is also 64. And <laughs> when you subtract, you get 0. Yeah. And then let's also compute f of 2 right here. Well, we put 2 in here, and here we get 2 squared minus 8 times 2. And of course, work this out. This is 4 minus 16. So we get minus 12. All right. So that's pretty good. Is it minus 12? 4 minus 16. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so let's see. This right here is 0, good. And then minus f of 2 is negative 12. So I'll just put it down like this, minus negative 12. And then divide it by 6. On the top is just 12 over 6. So all in all, all, in all we just get 2. And then we are done. Yeah, so the average of change is just 2. Cool. Now, for this one, of course, we just have to do the same thing. Here we go average rate of change. In this case, a is negative 3 and b is positive 18. And again, just plug in. So we get f of 18 minus f of negative 3 and then over 18 minus negative 3. So that's what we have. And I will again do this and that somewhere else. Let's say down here. So we have f of uh, 18 first. This right here means we will have square root of 18 plus 7, and that's 25 in the square root, and we get 5 after we cancel the square root and also the 25. And then here we have f of negative 3. This is going to be square root of negative 3 plus 7, and that's 4. Square root of 4 is just 2, so we have 2. Okay, perfect. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here we get 5, and then minus, this is just a 2. So 5 minus 2 on the top, over, this is uh, 18 plus 3, which is 21. And then we see this right here is 3 over 21, which is just 1 over 7. All right, so 1 over 7, and that's it. As long as you remember this formula, which is actually just a slow formula, and you are organized uh, when you are computing these numbers, right, and then plug it back in to the computation, you should be good for this right here.